Hello everyone, this is Varun here. I'm going to guide you how to create a course uh, using the Lundas dashboard and uh, allow you to link with the WooCommerce and sell it using the WooCommerce. Okay, first thing, uh, there's a add new course button here and um, uh, we can pick any topic there like uh, just a random text I'm picking there and for the content point of view, I'm going just generating a new content for it. Okay, um, next uh, we can set a featured image, whatever we have, or we can also upload a new one anytime. Okay, uh, so right now we have created uh, that included the title, the content part, and the featured image, and we can also create some categories or the select existing categories, and we can also include some uh, category tags as well, course tag as well. Okay, uh, I'm hitting the submit button and after the next step after the course ID is uh, granted to this course we have a builder option and uh, here we are going to create a section and the topics first section 1 and including I'm just uh, keeping a prefix uh, just to make sure we are not getting mixed up with the lesson title lesson 1 and two and we can also include multiple sections here okay um, it's uh, just a basic skeleton and uh, after the lessons are created, you can also include the some topic and the quizzes there. Uh, I'm just including a uh, parameter like uh, reload just uh, for the constant point of view, so we can identify them. And uh, these topics, uh, you, uh, if you already have some topics al already there, you can also use them. Uh, like uh, we have a couple of topics there. And if you have shared courses enabled, then uh, you can also use the, any existing topics are created by any other, inst uh, these, this instructor. He's able to use those uh, existing topic and the lesson and the quizzes as well. Okay, so after the basic skeleton is ready like this one, we can hit the update. And after the builder functionality is uh, ready here, uh, using sections, lesson, and the topics uh, like this one. Next, uh, we are going to include the functionality where we are planning to sell this course using the WooCommerce. Uh, first of all, uh, we have a course material field, so we can also include my course material like this one. Uh, and uh, currently, I'm more focused on selling course using the WooCommerce. So what we have to do here, suppose that uh, I'm planning to sell this course as $99. We only have to include the course price and the closed here. And this button URL will be blank for now. Uh, from the backend setting, I have already enabled to sell, um, allow selling the closed courses with, using the WooCommerce. For that one, inside the Landas dashboard, we have enabled the setting as an admin. And uh, for the back, uh, functionality point of view, uh, we have to make sure the WooCommerce Learn Dash add-on is enabled there. And after hitting the update button here, it will automatically create a product uh, inside the WooCommerce and that product will be linked to this course automatically. And if you go to the setting option again, and you can find this, there's a URL already for the product one uh, that is populated automatically. And it will use the same feature image what you have used including the same title and the same content description here okay and uh, this will um, when all the configuration has been done so as an instructor point of view because instructor doesn't have a backend interface to link all the uh, meta boxes there so we have included the complete functionality using all the meta boxes pre-populated uh, during this update action and uh, when someone is going to uh, buy this 
uh, product from the WooCommerce, they will be auto enrolled to the course as well. Okay, so this gives your instructor a full flexibility to use the WooCommerce um, part and they do not have to create any product. The product link up uh, will be automatically done. Um, if you have any questions, uh, contact us. Uh, our team will help on these things. Uh, hopefully, uh, it is clear to you how this uh, product creation is working and how easy uh, we have used uh, the course creation uh, using the Learn Dash dashboard from the front end editor and uh, for the editing point of view uh, just like you have a course builder already there all the lessons uh, which belong to a particular course uh, you can filter them using this one suppose that this is the course what we have created right now when you hit filter on that one this it will display all the uh, lessons what i have created here and now you can edit them one by one and you have all the functionality like this one the content area the lesson material and all those things so these uh, options you can easily pre-populate or populate them uh, for the all the lessons we have uh, lesson status content area lesson category these if you do not want to give your uh, instructor to, for these options you can also disable this functionality from the back end for the setting point of view you can also enable the lesson material video progression if you want to enable include a video which uh, need to be uh, displayed completely and then they have uh, a mark complete button for the next video uh, next lesson so you can also use this functionality so you, in that way you can find this uh, lesson creation lesson modification lesson update you have the full control over all the content from the using the learn dash dashboard from the front end And um, when we are selling all the content, uh, all the courses using the Landash, we have three particular module how we are going to share, uh, sell these courses. First, Landash learn, um, have the PayPal support, Landash has a Stripe support, and Landash has the WooCommerce support. Currently, these three um, we are calculating inside the earning data. Now you can see that for this instructor, there is a one log created. This course has been sold a couple of minutes ago. Uh, the base price was 50. There was 80% earnings here. That's why the instructor earning was $38. And we have also included a uh, deduction, a standard deduction fees. Like uh, you can say that it is a payment gateway charge or it you can say that that is a tax or something like this one. So you can explain which type of the fees you are planning to deduct if you want to deduct. This is optional and you also have a mode like uh, for which method it was used to collect the payment. And uh, there's a, for the reference point of view, we have used uh, the order ID for the WooCommerce. So that will be mentioned there. Okay. So uh, all the sellings what we are doing on the Landash dashboard are also displaying here. And you can find the complete earning data on the dashboard as well. Yeah. Total earning $38, uh, which is sold a few minutes ago. Like this one, uh, that is the instructor earning. One bump, uh, the, uh, one order was placed for one particular course. And the detail log will be available for them also from the practical kind. And uh, suppose that if uh, have a more than $100 earning, like uh, we have a backend setting for that one. So they can also request uh, using PayPal or which payment method we have enabled there. Uh, so they can request like uh, please withdraw uh, whatever money we have earned so far. And that will add a backend log for the withdrawal request and which can be approved by the admin when they are going to pay out. Uh, let me know if you have any further question. Uh, support will have all those things. Thank you.